so today we have the perfect condition for uh, training some downwind uh, solo sail with uh, with all the sails up it's uh, this is supposed to work when you are sailing in heavy weather as well and uh, so I wrecked it up a couple of years ago and now I'm just training and uh, using it and what better way to train in we have around 10 12 knots of wind coming from the aft quarter and uh, the boat is uh, doing 5.7 5.8 not 5.9 sometimes reaching six knots downwind um, it took me around half an hour to rig this whole thing up but it's uh, it's absolutely worth it the boat is stable we don't have that much wave like I don't know half a meter perhaps waves are always difficult to cut to, to, to um, catch on camera but um, the sailing conditions today are just perfect so what I what I have done is uh, I have taken the uh, mainsail and uh, rigged it with a boom preventer so I I don't get it in my head which is of course very important and there's just a line going from the end of the boom down to a cleach I would like to have it further out but uh, I haven't really I haven't really done that yet but anyway the other thing I'm practicing is going with my uh, I got two poles one for the uh, small pole that is uh, a t telescopic pole and then I got this uh, big bad boy um, well I will show you in a minute and I've rigged a line going from the end of the boom all the way down here to a little block and then up to a winch so I can I can fix it as you can see this this line here is uh, it's not even hard now so I can even f control it even more so what you would like to do is just get it as hard as possible and I can just control it by winching in and uh, and then this line will be firm and of course the Genoa sheet is going back to its block up to another block and out under the railing uh, doesn't really work if it goes on top of the railing and then uh, I will show you what's going on on deck here. I just need to click in. I have this uh, line here, which I'm just clicking into this line here, like this. And then I can run all the way. I know this is a little bit controversial with lines, but I, I, uh, I actually prefer them. And my lines are going in through here. So if I fall out, it's not that far out, but I, I know it's a, it's a fall safe. So the other trick up here is like having an extra line going from the end of the pole down to another block here and then all the way down here to a cleach. So as you can see, this whole thing now is just completely steady. Uh, it's going up from a line all the way up here to the mast and uh, just make sure that the uh, where it goes into the mast is a round corner because that can be actually a problem and then I have attached it to uh, to this pole it's, it's attached by this little hinge uh, so I can just move it up and down and when I'm not using it it's standing in its little holder down there so this all this is controllable by this line and this line so and uh, and then I can just Curl the Genoa in and out if the breeze is picking up. This is the I think this is the ferry to uh, Aarhus going from Callum Hall to Aarhus. It's a fast ferry. It's a bit rock in a minute. And then just to stabilize the boat, I am um, I'm actually putting out my my jib sail and. Uh, I know it's a little floggy now, but it's it's actually working. It's uh, stabilizing the boat. I've, I've done this in uh, in much more heavy weather, and it's actually stabilizing the boat quite a bit. Um, today we don't have any waves, so it doesn't really stabilize that much. And 
but it actually catches a little bit of breeze and I think the theory here is to let it into the big genoa so the uh, the wind is actually uh, get more wind so <clears throat> so this is the setup and uh, I've, I've been sailing with it uh, for uh, for quite some time and it's actually working pretty well um, it, the only hazard is the only hazard is that you that you have to go you have to go on deck to uh, you have to go on deck to, to do all this and um, there's always a, a risk of, of uh, going on deck to do this and uh, now the wind is picking up a little bit more which is giving us a lot of high speed We're going more than six knots now but there's always a risk going on deck uh, but it, it, it's, it's absolutely worth it it's uh, this setup is, uh, is working in heavy winds and light winds and and the whole setup doesn't fluff if you are waves. Now we get hit by the, the waves from the ferry. As you see here. The only downside today is uh, that I only have one hour and 20 minutes to go before reaching a, uh, a reef, something called Sjælland's I have to go between two barriers and then I have to, to jive and uh, this whole setup is to jive, it's, it's, uh, it takes some time, it's actually uh, it's not, that, not that easy. But anyway, this is, uh, this is how, it, how the setup is. is supposed to work. You see down here I have the other whisker pole and um, sometimes I actually just sail with both sails up, front sails and uh, to each side and then have an, I have another track, I don't know if you can see it, on, on here so I can actually have another Genoa to, to fall out so I can take two Genoas, two big Genoas and fall out. You are going, for example, in the trade winds, which I've never done with this boat. I always prefer to go on other people's boat, but, but um, yeah, training to be a, uh, a solo sailor is uh, it's easy to train in these kind of conditions instead of flying in the middle of the Atlantic in five meter waves, surfing down the waves, which, by the way, is pretty fun. Um, I'll show you how this uh, little setup works. <laughs> this is actually what happens when the, this line gets caught and everything. It's a, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a nightmare sometimes. But uh, anyway. This guy over there is just going by his mainsail and he was way in front of me half an hour ago and now I'm just passing him very slowly. So this is uh, just a little trick to uh, set up the uh, poles and 